Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at your energy and what's around you, um, and then also this new love that's coming towards you. Now bear in mind that this could be somebody you've already met, somebody you've already been dealing with, you dealt with in the past, or something coming towards you. So just play with time here, you guys. So let's go ahead and dig in. Let's see what messages come through. We're going to start with your energy Capricorn I wanted to say Aries so I don't know if some of you are dealing with an Aries um, okay so your energy right now is the five of Pentacles so you could be feeling alone you could be feeling rejected you could be feeling like you don't have enough or there's just no one good out there you know like the the pickings are slim right now is what I'm hearing um, what's affecting you or influencing you right now, the two of wands. Some of you guys, you're just at a crossroads when it comes to dating. I think a lot of you guys are starting to feel fed up or um, you've been rejected recently and you're just like, I'm not so sure I even want to date anymore. Um, you know, nothing ever kind of works out for me type energy. And I do feel like you're holding back. But I also feel like this comes from this deep energy Capricorn of wanting to move forward, wanting to call in love, wanting growth and expansion, and just not quite getting it yet. Okay, so we have the death card, some of you dealing with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart, the lovers, Gemini energy, and the eight of cups. Okay, so I'm seeing here that some of my Capricorns, what you've been through, some of you may be on a twin flame or a deep soulmate journey. Um, and I feel like a lot of you, you guys keep coming back to a past hurt or a heartbreak. And I actually feel like it's blocking you from calling in a new energy. And there's a real need for you to move on. With the death card, it's like resisting some sort of transformation. A lot of my Capricorns, you feel like you met the one. Or you might be on a twin flame journey. But I feel very strongly this two of wands spirit saying it's holding you back. The Eight of Cups is about walking down a new path, walking away from this connection, something that made you feel like you weren't enough or didn't have enough. What's coming towards you, yeah, in doing that is your Ten of Cups, okay? So when you're on a twin flame journey or when we're manifesting, oftentimes when we energetically release someone or something, that activates the cord to come back to us. So it's possible for some of you. But I feel more than anything, you know, there was some sort of decision or there's a tough decision to make to walk away from someone or something. And even just replaying that energy over and over in your head, it's time to walk away from it once and for all because you have your person, Ten of Cups, coming towards you they could be a cancer scorpio or pisces but this person sees you capricorn as waiting so this could be somebody that knows or senses that you're waiting for someone or something else um, they see that you play the long game they see that you've invested a lot of time and energy into either a previous relationship um, but they might also see you working really hard capricorn like they might see you working hard towards a goal or towards building up your finances they view you as the Knight of Swords, so they really like your personality. They connect with you on an intellectual level. Um, they like the way you communicate. There's something that makes sense to you about them, so, uh, or to, to them about you. Um, this person wants to rush towards you. They want to communicate with you, but they kind of feel like you are being held back or you're holding back. Wow, Capricorn, but your final outcome energy is Two of Cups. This is your person. This person's probably been waiting for you or will be waiting for you for a little bit. But what I'm getting with the Knight of Swords is that, that they want to rush towards you. They are going to hold space for you for a period of time. Okay, but they are going to reach out. I just feel like this person loves you, Capricorn, or loves you from afar. It could be an online connection, a long distance connection. For some of you, it, it has been or will be like a brief encounter that you don't think is going to really go anywhere. Um, for some of you, this Knight of Wands energy, it's just a little bit of a warning though. You don't want to like rush in and out of this situation. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This person... I feel like this person's waiting for the right time to talk to you or reach out to you, or you'll find that out. This person may have rushed in and out before. It's definitely possible. We get engineer, so maybe they actually are an engineer. 
I love this though because my Capricorns, you guys love practical expression, but this person's going to be creative and practical. I feel like you guys just really, really connect in the mental space on an intellectual level. This is somebody who may have had a difficult childhood, but this is somebody who's very compassionate and wants to, maybe they help children, maybe they work with children. This is also somebody who may be coming in for forgiveness. Okay, it is really possible because we do get this energy of a second chance walking away and the Knight of Wands. So it could be somebody that you had sort of a brief encounter with or somebody that wasn't ready to commit. But for others of you, that's the energy you need to leave behind. Okay, we get students. So maybe this person you meet through school or some sort of learning venue. Um, but this is somebody who's always constantly learning. And I feel like that's the approach they're going to take to you, Capricorn. And I think you're going to really like it. You're going to really understand it. This person realizes that they're not perfect. Okay. And they may, they may apologize for it, but they're this type of person that wants to find solutions. So if like something didn't work out or something, you know, maybe the first date wasn't the greatest, like this is the type of person that's going to be like, can we try again? Can we start over? But they're going to deal with problems. Okay. They're not going to sweep them under the rug. I like this person's energy. This person may like to read. You know, they might have a subscription to magazines or newspapers even. All right, we get meeting online. So some of you, it's an online connection. Some of you, this person has had family problems. Like I said, they may come from like a tough background or they come from a broken family. We also get this best friend energy and they love to stay in. This sounds like a cancer to me, you guys, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. But with this water sign energy, you could have Scorpio, you could have Cancer, Pisces, you could have Gemini. Okay, they could really be anything. It's more of an energy read. Some of you guys, you're gonna really connect with what you've been through in your childhood or just in previous relationships. This person could also work in counseling or psychology or work with like the underprivileged. It's definitely a strong soulmate connection and bond that you're calling in. It could be your twin flame or soulmate because we have 10 of cups, two of cups. Yeah, and as I'm saying that, I didn't even see that card. For a lot of you, this is your twin flame and I want you all to myself. This person doesn't want to share you with anybody. You guys will know this is a twin flame journey. Some of you guys, you are getting a second chance with this person. But for others of you, you need to let go of a karmic situation. And this person comes in. You guys, it's like this person, nothing is going to be, it, it's, it's, yes, it's going to be like a loving, passionate, fun connection. But I feel like there's like a depth to this connection immediately. Like it's, it's not going to be one, you know, there's something different about this. Loving words hold great power and lasting love. So a lot of you guys, you are trying to manifest this person and Spirit's telling you to be patient. It's coming in or they're trying to manifest you. For others of you, maybe you had a brief encounter, but this person's coming back in to tell you that they really, they wish they had done things differently or they want to kind of start over. But I feel like this is with that engineer card. This is somebody who's not just sweeping it under the rug. All right, we get mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson and time apart. Yeah. We also get finances. So some of you, you may work with this person. But I feel like what I'm seeing here is some of you need to learn the spiritual lesson so that you can call this person into your life or back into your life for some of you. Yeah, you're definitely on a twin flame journey. I was picking up on that early, early on in this reading. So keep doing what you're doing, Capricorn. There is an energy block that needs to be removed. Maybe you have to deal with an energy of lack or feeling like you're not good enough. Heal that, purge that, release that old relationship baggage, and you have this Ten of Cups coming in for you. All right, something that can really, really go the distance here. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Beautiful messages for you guys. Um, if they resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. If you like the cards I'm using um, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that's down below. Leave a comment and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. All right, love and light.